The most successful mines are huge-scale operations like this one in the north of Sweden. So this is where you see uh, 25 megawatts of crypto power uh, taking place. How many computers in the whole data center? We have about 100,000 GPUs mining uh, and about 16,000 ASICs mining. On a daily basis, we mine about one and a half Bitcoin in this facility. All of this for just one and a half Bitcoin a day? One and a half Bitcoin. Of course, the value of Bitcoin goes up and down. At the time of my visit, that's a daily income for Hive of around $25,000. The way to stay profitable is to keep cool. Blasting out of mining machines is so much heat. Oh, it feels so nice. And that's part of why Hive has its mines in places like Canada and Iceland, or here, close to the Arctic Circle. Cold air from the freezing surrounding landscape is pumped into the building to create wind channels between the machines. <laughs> it's like being in a wind tunnel. The computers, would they overheat without this cold air? It, they would. And the more efficient your computer is, the more likely you are to be able to solve the algorithm and solve the block and earn that Bitcoin. Being inside here, you can really feel how energy intensive mining cryptocurrency is. And that's one of the great controversies of the industry. But Thornblad has an answer to that. Wow, this is where all the energy comes from. This is uh, the Boden Vattenkraftwerk or the Boden Hydro Plant. So I think uh, from the outset of Hive's uh, strategy, this was one of the main pillars to always mine with renewable energy. Well, in this area, there is uh, an abundance of energy and there are small communities up here. So in fact, there's not enough uh, inhabitants or companies to use all the energy that is available. And more than that, there are plans to capture excess heat given off from the mining machines and use it for something more fruitful. In the spring, we're building a, a huge big uh, greenhouse just at the back of our data center. So we will have uh, tomatoes and cucumbers grown all year round in the very north of Sweden. Bitcoin grown food. <laughs> it's like cri crypto cucumbers. <laughs> crypto cucumber. <laughs> Heat capture is already a budding technology, as you can see in this greenhouse on the outskirts of Amsterdam. Instead of using natural gas, using renewable electricity to heat the flowers. Bert de Groot has installed six A6 mining machines alongside this family-owned tulip-growing business. They don't heat all the 33 million flowers produced here each year, but a small proportion. Six mining machines is about, let's say, nine households of natural gas being saved on the spot. I would suggest, though, that there are more efficient ways of heating a greenhouse. Surely you could use the renewable electricity to get heaters in. Uh, if you have a normal traditional electric heater, it has exactly the same efficiency. The only difference is that here we have some Bitcoin coming out at the end. How much Bitcoin are we talking? It's a small amount. It's 0 0.0003 Bitcoin. 0 0.0003 Bitcoin. Per day, per machine. While mining is energy intensive, if the heat can be captured and used for good, at least here in the Netherlands, there is hope for a greener future for digital money.